Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of Armani Beauty. I'm going to be pulling out some of my longtime favorites as well as some new favorites from Armani Beauty that I've recently discovered. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Guys, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Armani Beauty. And as always, I want to say thank you to you guys for supporting my channel because without you, I wouldn't be able to work with brands that have been using their products for many, many years. So I'm really excited for this one. I already have a look in my head that I want to do. I really want to do like a no makeup, makeup kind of skin, really perfected glow from within kind of look. That's like the aesthetic of Armani, I feel like. And then a nice look lip and some mascara. I'm feeling that vibe today so that's what we're gonna do. Also stay tuned till the end there will be a giveaway of some products that I picked out for you guys. Oh let's zoom on in. You can see I had a 1v1 today. So let's start off with the primer. I'm going to use the Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. If you have dry skin and you've never tried this product before you need to give this one a try. It has like a light peach color. Obviously you don't see that when you apply it but oh my goodness it is so smoothing and hydrating on the skin literally your skin is going to drink this product up it doesn't leave like a greasy feel or anything but it does leave a nice luminosity i would say it has the consistency of a thick serum so it's liquidy enough to where it dries down pretty quickly on the skin and sinks in very nice but it's not so thin that you feel like it's not doing anything like it really is hydrating and smoothing the skin I really do feel like it makes the process of applying foundation and all of your other complexion products on top more easy. It really does improve the way that the foundation applies and looks, which is amazing. It's gonna be my monthly favorites. I've been enjoying it a lot. Now it's time to go into an old time classic of mine. I wore this every single day in college, guys. This has been in my most recommended luxury products videos, my starter kits, must have products. This has been featured countless times in my videos because it's just amazing. I put the link for for the Luminous Silk Foundation down below in the description box. Be sure to check it out and find your shade. There are over 40 shades in the range and if it helps you out, I wear the shade 4.5. And the reason I say that is because right now until March 14th, Sephora is actually offering four times the points when you buy the Luminous Silk Foundation. So if you're in the Beauty Insider program, you know that you rack up points so that you can later redeem them for cash or money off, or even products at the end of checkout. So if you've been wanting to try this foundation or you're like me and you need to buy a new one because I'm running out of this. I think this is the last time I'll be able to squeeze some product out of it. Now's a good time to get it for four times the points. Now, literally, I was not joking. I am running out of this and you guys know, being the makeup hoarder that I am, that's a pretty big feat that should say a lot about this product. Now, what I love about it so much is how lightweight it is. You literally don't feel like you're wearing anything and it's impossible for this foundation to look cakey. This was my go-to foundation in college because it was lightweight enough for me to wear to class, but I would also wear it, you know, in the night going out because you can build up the coverage with it. And again, it's not gonna look cakey. You don't feel it. It wears a really long time as well. I always felt like when I came home at night, my makeup always looked intact with this foundation. So it leaves the skin with like, I would say a soft glow, really that kind of natural hydrated finish that makes it look very skin-like. And if you can get the right shade, it's going to be so easy to apply because of how lightweight and how easily it blends into the skin. So I'm going to build up the coverage in the areas that I have a little bit more redness, but I'm going for a no makeup makeup kind of look. And you can see that primer peeking through underneath the foundation. My skin just looks really hydrated and healthy right now. And you can still see my imperfections underneath, which actually creates the effect that this is my natural skin, but it's very even and beautiful. This guy is done. I have another one on backup already. So <laughs> love this guy. I am really quickly though gonna put a little extra on my friend right there rude. I think today I'm gonna go into the Luminous Silk Concealer. Now this guy is fairly new. I want to say it came out around last year. I have the shade 4.5. So I have the same shade that I wear in the foundation as well and they match really well together. So this has a soft and plumpy kind of applicator and the point of it makes it really easy to get into this 
area, which I think is an often forgotten area of the eye when we're concealing. And then you can see that shadow there if you don't cover it up sometimes. When I forget, I watch my videos and I cringe. So this is a very lightweight concealer, just like its foundation counterpart. It has a light coverage. So if you're looking for something with full coverage, I would point you in the direction of the power fabric. But this is great for that no makeup makeup kind of look that we are going for today. The formulation has soft focus pearls that are going to help diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And honestly, I think this is a great formulation for mature skin because of how flexible and hydrating the formula is. It contains glycerin. So this is a concealer that I often recommend to mature skin clients just because of how hydrating it is underneath the eyes. It also has caffeine and vitamin E. And caffeine is an ingredient that I've been seeing advertised a lot lately in products, which is kind of neat. This concealer won the 2020 Best of Allure Beauty. And I did not know that, but I always like looking at the Best of Allure Beauty list. So this was on there. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just apply a little bit of it in my problem areas just to add a little bit of extra coverage to make my skin look more perfected. But you can see when you layer it on, it still leaves that skin-like finish that blends in cohesively with the foundation. So the Luminous Silk line really does pair very well together. You can see I don't really look like I'm wearing foundation. I just look like I have very nice, even skin. The finish is just so skin-like. I want to stick with more liquids and creams for the look today. Again, because those creams are going to settle into the skin and it's going to have the finish of actual real skin as opposed to powder. We're going to start off with the A contour. I have the cooler shade, which is 21, because we want the cooler shade to mimic an actual shadow. And this blends out very easily. So even though this color looks intimidating, I'm just going to use a sponge to blend that in just like that. And you can see how easily that just blended into the skin and how it created that really natural shadow underneath the cheekbones. I'm going to go back into the Luminous Silk Concealer and I have it in the shade 10. And I'm going to use this to add some warmth to the skin around the edges of my face where I would typically apply bronzer. So because this concealer is so lightweight, I think having it in different colors, like highlight colors or contour colors, works really good because it doesn't have crazy pigmentation but do keep in mind that less is definitely more when you're doing that especially like with a color like this you can see it is quite warm so if you just do a little bit do you see that little bit of warmth it added to the skin but it still looks natural see how pretty is that I'm gonna do one dot here and one dot here. Literally just the tiniest amount if you're going to do shading and contouring of the face with this. And again, this really just creates that skin texture. So you can't even tell you're wearing anything. For complexion, we're gonna finish off with the A blush in the shade 51. This looks very intimidating when you first put it on, but just like the other products, you can see it shears out with ease. This is going to add a really natural flush. I really like like this color because you really can't tell it's like an artificial color. It just makes you look really blushy and youthful. If you're going for the no makeup makeup look, but just a little bit on your nose, and then it's going to look much more realistic. My skin just looks perfect right now. Natural glow from within, but with a really skin-like finish. Definitely great no makeup makeup look. Originally, I was going to go in with some eye tints, but I think I want to leave the eyelid pretty bare. I have three shades. This is Nude Smoke. It's a matte finish. It's really light. It's basically my skin tone, if I'm being honest. I also have Flannel, which is a gorgeous satin shade, and it really doesn't leave much color to the eye. It just leaves a nice shimmery finish when the sun hits. The one that's really pigmented is going to be Sienna. This has a lot of color. It's definitely not what I want for the look today. So I'm actually going to go in with number 24, which is Nude Smoke. Let me blend out this concealer. And I like to use this shade kind of just to blank out my eyelids. So that's what I'm going to do today to make it look more even. So I'm just going to take a brush and blend that out. And it's going to set down that concealer as well because this product does dry down. So we won't have any creasing because we've put this down. That's a really nice product for that and great for that bare 
lid kind of look. This product is one that I am ecstatic to show you. This is in my giveaway because I love it so much. So this is the Eyes to Kill Mascara. I try to stay away from luxury mascaras. I'm very, very picky about mascaras. I have the ones that I like because my eyelashes are so straight down and they're short and they're thin. This mascara is one of my favorites now. It's gonna be my monthly favorites because it's incredible. So here is what the wand looks like. And this is a really nice nice lengthening and separating mascara. So I'm gonna do one quick coat and then I'm gonna show you the difference. Do you guys see this? Remember, I have very thin sparse lashes, but the length that this adds is incredible. This is just one coat. I'm gonna layer on some more and I'll be right back. I went a little ham on the mascara, but it just keeps getting better and better. You know how a lot of times the first use of mascara isn't that good or impressive? From day one with this mascara, I've been impressed with it. So good. That's why I wanted to have a bare lid for today's look so you can really see the magic that is in this tube. This is a really quick look. It's going by quicker than I thought, but we're gonna move on to lips. I have a few options. I actually wanna draw some attention to their lipsticks today, I think. Their lipsticks don't get enough attention because look at this packaging and oof, it has a magnetic closure. Super satisfying. I have two shades. First one that I have is shade one or two. It's called Androgyno and it's like a nice nude pink color. The other one that I had that I was thinking about is Downtown. It's like a brown grayish color. And I don't know if you can see, but it has like some metallic gold shimmers in there that show up on the lips. It's really unique. I think for this look today, since we're going so bare and I was going for that natural glow from within look, I'm gonna use Androgyno. Oh yeah, that's perfect. This is just kind of like a great everyday nudie pink color. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the Ecstasy Mirror Gloss in the shade 100, just to kind of mush together the formulas to make it a bit more hydrating. You can see it's a little bit more of a neutral toned color. I wanna mix these formulas together and it's going to make a really comfy lip. All right, we're already at the end of this really quick no makeup makeup look. So I'm gonna collect myself and then we'll get into the giveaway details. All right, here we have it. Here is my no makeup 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 look but obviously still wearing makeup and oh my skin is my favorite part it literally just looks like skin but even which I absolutely love before I head out though I did pick out some products for you guys as a thank you of course for always being the ones to give me these opportunities so I picked out three things to create a really nice look very similar to the one that I'm wearing so of course I had to do the eyes to kill mascara because I'm so obsessed with it I also picked up the eye tint silk in the shade flannel for you that really pretty shiny color for you to put all over the eyelid and then finally the last one that I picked out for you is the lip magnet in the shade 400 because I feel like everybody could use a good red lipstick and this one is a very universally flattering shade so in order to win this giveaway it's very simple you have to of course be subscribed to my channel and like this video and I want you to comment down below what your favorite product from Armani Beauty is and if you've never tried tried one, I would like for you to share what you would like to try the most. This giveaway is going to last two weeks. I will have the official end date in the description box. Make sure when you comment that you leave your email address or your Instagram. I do prefer Instagram, so if you have an Instagram account, make sure you're following me on there and I will DM the winner. So you'll need to put that in the comments, but if you don't have an Instagram, that's okay. Just leave me your email or some way for me to contact the winner. So two weeks from today, that's all you have to do to enter. I will put all of the additional details and the ones that I just said in the description box for you. If you would like to enter, make sure you check that out first in case I forgot anything. And again, a huge thank you to Armani Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure if you're interested in the Luminous Silk Foundation that you purchased before March 14th so you can get four times the points on this. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.